And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Liga Portugal. What might we see today, Stuart? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Joao Mario, spot on with that tackle. And this is how the starting 11 looks for Benfica. Joao Mario plays with David Neres out wide. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. On the offensive. David Neres must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here it is again. The cross is inch perfect, just begging somebody to run onto it. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. The ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. The concession of a corner here. Can someone get on the end of this? Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Now a decent position. Bilal Awasheria. Now he must favour the cross. Moving the ball effectively. Tremendously strong in the tackle. David Neres. Rafa here. And that puts him in position. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. This attack looks highly promising. David Neres. Rafa. Is it going to be? And that is defending of the highest order. This might be ideal for the counter. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. Going short. Determined defending. Real chance. Here's David Nere. performance the defenders unable to stop it well here's the replay he does well to find that bit of space in the box and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off that's a good goal and there it is the half-time whistle
Well, we're picking him out. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Shielding the ball superbly. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. There's a slide draw pass. Cleared away comprehensively. Being egged on by the crowd. And it's still on. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. Fujimoto. And now Pedro Tiba. Awasheria. Could reduce the deficit. Oh dear. That moment might come back to haunt them. A bad miss. You sense that had to go in if they're to turn this around. They simply haven't been at the races today. Awasheria. Vitor Carvalho. Options in the centre. Holding on to the ball, waiting for the cavalry to arrive. Surely! Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. This to get back into it. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Here it is again, and he makes it look so easy. He sends the keeper one way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent finish. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? That's really good and effective physical play. Otamendi. It's with David Neres. Fernandez. Enzo Fernandez. On to Brooks. Grimaldo. Brooks. Aursnes. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. And given away. Kanya Fujimoto. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Rafa. Fernandez. Well, very effective play in possession. But quick thinking defensively.
The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.